Hello and welcome to this football edition of Patriot League Roundup. I'm Gina Johnson. The game of the week between Lehigh and Fordham had a thrilling finish, and Colgate's Gavin McCarney had a career day in a huge win at Yale. After falling behind 14-0, Lehigh's Keith Sherman scored from 16 yards out with 3.50 left in the second quarter, and quarterback Michael Colvin ran three yards on a draw play with 12 seconds left to tie it up at 14-14 at the half. After Lehigh added a field goal early in the third quarter, Colvin passed it to Lee Kerfis for the five-yard score to give the Mountain Hawks a 24-14 lead. Following a Fordham touchdown, Sherman caught a pass in the middle of the field and ran 70 yards to the Fordham five-yard line. Zach Barquette ran one yard to make it 31-21, but Fordham scored 10 straight points, including a 13-yard pass from Ryan Higgins to Greg Wilson to tie it at 31-31. But Jake Peary kicked a 22-yard field goal as time expired to give Lehigh the 34-31 win. Colvin finished with 341 yards passing and a touchdown. He also ran for 61 yards and a score. Ryan Spadola caught eight passes for 85 yards. Carlton Kuntz had 105 yards rushing for the Rams. Colgate bounced back after a tough loss a week ago to win handedly 47-24 Saturday at Yale. Quarterback Gavin McCarney scored six touchdowns, including four on the ground, while Jordan McCord ran for 138 yards and a touchdown. Yale led 17-14 late in the second quarter, but Colgate went on a 33-7 run to close out the game. Lafayette traveled out to Western Pennsylvania to take on winless Robert Morris, and the first half didn't go well. Ross Schuerman broke free for a 25-yard touchdown early in the second quarter, but the Leopards still went into halftime trailing 28-7. Lafayette rallied with back-to-back -to -back touchdown passes to Mark Ross to cut it to one score early in the fourth quarter. And with 8.57 left, the Leopards' Andrew Shoup threw his third touchdown pass, connecting with Rodney Gold to tie it at 28. But Robert Morris kicked a 33-yard field goal with 19 seconds left to hand Lafayette its first loss. Shoup finished with 268 yards and three touchdowns, while Mark Ross caught 13 passes for 151 yards and two scores. Bucknell and Cornell met for the 13th straight season on Saturday, and it was the Bison getting out to the strong start. Charlie Thompson broke free for a 63-yard run late in the first quarter, setting Bucknell up on the two-yard line. Two plays later, Jeremiah Young ran it in for the 7-0 lead. Cornell countered with a Jeff Matthews quarterback sneak to cut it to 7-6 after a failed extra point attempt. Boomer Olsen kicked a 28-yard field goal right before the half to make it 9-7, and Silas Nasita busted up the middle for a 24-yard touchdown to open the fourth quarter. Cornell went on to win 15-10 Saturday as the Bucknell offense totaled 151 yards rushing. Brandon Wesley completed 19 of 29 passes for 135 yards, and Ryan Morgan posted eight tackles and had an interception. Number 24, Harvard, ran away early, scoring seven first-half touchdowns en route to a 52-3 win Friday night. Harvard QB Colton Chapel threw for 260 yards and four touchdowns. The Georgetown Hoyas fell behind early and never recovered in a 37-10 loss to Brown on Saturday. Brown stifled Georgetown's running game, holding the Hoyas to 12 yards. Scon Steven completed 17 passes for 147 yards and a touchdown, but he threw three picks. Here's a look at the standings after five weeks of football, and Colgate, Georgetown, Holy Cross, and Lehigh will all open up their Patriot League schedules next week. Patriot League Roundup will return Friday with the Week 6 football preview. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest news and notes from around the league. Thanks for watching. I'm Gina Johnson.